Hey, this is Chef David Olson with Live Fire Republic, and I'm super stoked to be with you. We're here in northwestern Idaho. It's an incredible scene behind us. I'm with my good buddy Brian Klum of Klum Dog Outdoors. And Brian, we're slaying Mackinac today on the big water. Yeah, that's the plan. We're going to go out there and try to catch some Macs. Uh, we're doing a vertical jigging presentation. We'll have a one ounce jig head on the bottom. Uh, we'll have a drop shot, drop shot rig just a couple feet up above that. Uh, head out there and start catching some fish. It should be a good day. I know it's going to be a good day. Yes, you sir. always put us on the fish in the big water. And then I'm going to take us over to live fire. And we have an epic surf in turf. Great. We're going to do a pine wood plank, cedar branch smoked, lake trout, mm -hmm. Mackinac, lake trout. And then we're going to pair it up with a super incredible certified Piedmontese dynasty prime rib, surf and turf, Idaho style. Yeah. Let's get it done. <laughs> Let's go catch some fish Let's first. Do it. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Wow. He went right after the top one. Look at him. That's beautiful. Whoa! There we go. Alright. Let's go! That's an eater right there. He's a beauty, huh? There we go. Get on the down bite. Yep. Oh, there he is. Nice. Wow, nice. Oh, he's the weird one. There. Nice. There we go. Nice work, man. There he is. He's an eater. Perfect. Whoa. Hey, nice one. There we go. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Finally, shake the stink off. Knew it. That was easy. He actually nibbled and nibbled and let him actually run with it for just a minute. I'm either going in for this fish or it's going in the net. <laughs> going in the net. There we go. There we go. There we go. He took the bottom one, huh? Yeah. A beauty, huh? We've landed an absolute haul here at Priest Lake. Check out these Mackinac. How beautiful are those fish? Look at the speckled spots, the colors, and the inside of these fillets are just gonna be amazing. So here's what we're gonna do. We collected our cedar wood branches. We have our pine wood planks. We're now gonna fillet and butterfly open the fish, season it beautifully, nail the fish into the pine board in the cedar branches and place it next to the fire. Now it's time to fillet and butterfly the fish. We're gonna require a very sharp knife. So I have my honing steel here and a fillet knife from Shun. Simply press in and just snap those bones. We're gonna continue working this all the way down the fish. No rush, nice and easy, staying very close to the spine and just letting the blade do its work. And then when we get through these rib bones, we're gonna turn it over and now fillet through, nice and easy. Now simply what we're gonna do is just let the blade tip work through, keeping pressure down along the fish, ensuring not to cut through the skin. There we go, that's what we're looking for. As Soon as you find that one pop right through, you're golden and one cut through, top, we're almost there. One more cut through, done. And there you have a butterfly Priest Lake Mackinac. All right, fish has been filleted, it's time to start dressing our board. We have our freshly harvested cedar branches and they go directly upon the planks. Butterfly Mackinac on. Now to season our Mackinac, we have a simple combination of olive oil, New Orleans seasoning from Weber Seasonings, and a bit of honey. 
Next is our New Orleans seasoning from Weber Seasonings. Inside of this is plenty of smoked paprika, mild chili powder, kosher salt, black peppercorn, roasted garlic, and a variety of herbs. Now this Mackinac has a lot of smoke, a bit of heat, and a lot of sweet. We're using a local honey from right here in the Pacific Northwest. Now for the fun part of this cook. We have nails and hatchets. We're gonna start by simply placing the first nail directly through the eye socket of the fish. We're going to affix the fish directly to the board by pounding the nail directly through the pine wood and the cedar needles. And now nailing through the collar. And finally, the tail. Now how beautiful is that? Now this process is all about fire management. We place the fish on the pine wood planks directly next to the fire. I wanna be able to hold my hands next to the fire for a full five count. That's the appropriate temperature to be smoking our Mackinac. How incredible are those Mackinac? They're seasoned beautifully. The cedar wood is atop the pine wood planks and these pine wood planks are going in the fire. Now the first step in our umami butter is taking these Pacific Northwest morel mushrooms that have been picked and dried here locally directly into our Ninja Blender. Lid goes on and next is pulverize. All right, and what we're looking for is this a beautiful morel mushroom powder. All right, we're gonna put a fine dice in these shallots. So simply what I'm gonna do is carve off the front piece here and then I'm gonna go just like we would with an onion. I'm gonna slice through, 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 and then turn it and then go down, 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 and now across, ready? And using curling your fingers back, just simply and easily go directly through the shallot. And this is a way that you can get an even fine dice on this shallot that's gonna go inside of our umami butter. And maintained at the end is our stock. All right, and now that we have our fine mints on the shallot, it's time to put them in water for about 30 minutes just to take out and remove a bit of the bitterness. And now that our individual ingredients are prepared, it's time to build our umami butter. We're gonna start with our Irish butter and we're simply gonna get this Irish butter, all of it, directly into our pan. So let's get it over here into the mixing bowl. And now goes in the roasted bone marrow butter. Just simply scoop it off and directly into the bowl. Incredible, get all that goodness, all that goodness in there. There we go. Look how beautiful that is. There we go, get it all in there. Next in, garlic. About a half tablespoon. Next, fresh thyme. And simply pull the stalks back down towards the base and you're just left with just the flowering leaf portion of the thyme. One more. Two little sprigs of thyme should do. Next in, shallot. We'll use here about a full tablespoon in. And finally our seasonings. We have our umami dried morel mushroom powder. Get a heavy dosing of that in there. It's beautiful. And then season with sea salt and black peppercorn. and plenty of both. Mm. 
Now it's time to mash. Cling foils down, and now it's time to get our umami butter directly into the middle of this cellophane. We're gonna roll it and wrap it tightly, and then get it in the refrigeration for about two hours. We're gonna roll the butter around, just like this. <clears throat> Close off on the sides, pinch the ends. Let's get a little tighter here. Pinch the ends, and then I'm gonna roll. and keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling until you get a really nice fat little ball of compound butter. And then simply what you'll do is take the ends, tie them off, bring them in tightly. There we go. Same on this side, both sides, tying down, cinching in, and your compound butter is ready to go. Now that our fish is on the fire and our morel roasted bone marrow compound butter is prepared, it's time to move on to the steaks. For the turf component of our dish today, we're preparing this incredible certified Piedmontese ribeye roast. I'm gonna carve this roast into three individual steaks, season it simply, put it over the fire, let it slowly come up to temperature, and then at the very end, apply the compound butter and let it do its magic. And today we're carving these steaks with a samurai sword. This is an incredible piece of artisan steel from Dalstrong. Look at that Damascus blade. Now to carve, I'm gonna turn over so I have a visual on the bone side of this roast. And I'm simply going to slice between the bones down and through, nice and easy. A good, seamless, even cut. And wait till you see the inside of these steaks. Look at that marbling. How incredible is that certified Piedmontese beef? Prize for its short protein fibers, its rich, full flavor. It's gonna be incredible upon the grill. Now to season the steaks. We're gonna hit it with the olive oil, go in hard with the ground sea salt and black peppercorn, and finish it off with the granulated garlic. Our cowboy ribeye steaks have rested and come up to room temperature. It's time to get them on the fire table next to the fish. Our umami butter is finished. Now it's time to carve it and get it onto our steaks to finish over the grill. This is be so ridiculous. Now it's time to blowtorch our umami butter. Our Mackinac are up to 145 degrees of internal temperature on the pine boards. Our steaks are at 135 degrees of internal temperature. That compound butter, that umami butter is spread across every crevice of that steak. It's time to let them rest and then carve. Let's go. Brian, it was a ridiculously awesome day here in Northwestern Idaho, man. You put us on the Mackinac, as always, from sunrise to sunset, 
And while you went back out to play and land a monster <laughs> Mackinac all afternoon, I slayed away and put these things to live fire. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know we went back out, ended up catching a whole bunch more fish. I think overall today the boat. Wait, produced... wait, 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 wait. We caught like five or six together, and then you went on your own with, with Tawny, your wife, and yeah. you guys caught like two dozen. Yeah, me and Tawny went back out and just slayed <laughs> it while they were cooking food. So, But yeah, it's been a great day so far. I can't wait to try this. I've never had smoked lake trout like this over the fire. I, I, I can't wait to try it. No, it's going to be ridiculous. So what I did here, uh, Brian, is we have the Mackinac with a bit of the New Orleans seasoning from Weber seasoning, some olive oil, a bit of honey, and then we hit it with the smoke inside the fire for about three, four hours. It's going to be great. And then we took the certified pea Montese, the cowboy ribeye steaks with the umami butter. We have uh, pulverized dried morels. We have bone marrow in there as well. That compound butter is nuts. But I think it's time to eat and stop talking about this, yeah, right? Let's get on it, man. Let's I'm, do it. I'm excited. Okay, here we go. So up from Brian, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel into this lake trout. And what we're looking for is a beautiful flaky finish. Let's see if we can just lift, lift that right up. Look at that just flake up. How beautiful is that? Look at that filet. Brian, check out the crust on this Mackinac. So good, man. Let's dig in. Here we go, this, right? Man. Okay. Mm. Not bad. Got a little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet, a lot of smoke, man. The best Mackinac I've ever had. Wow. Yeah, wow. Like it, <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Now let's get into this ribeye. Let's nope. do this. Brian, how nuts are these ribeyes? That Look at those things. Those are like three to four to 12 inches thick. I'm confident of it. <laughs> Depending on what measuring stick you're using. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are so good, man. So here we go. Let's carve in. I'm gonna start right up front. First thing is I'm gonna lift up the steak and I'm gonna carve these directly off the bone. And this bone meat is so good. I don't wanna lose that, okay? So that's for you and I. Those are steak bites for the chefs, okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's get this thing carved up. Now up top, we have what's called the spinalist. I'm simply just gonna carve around and we're gonna dig in, you and I, just to this spinalis. This is the most premium cut of steak, I believe, on any cow. We have this prepared to beautiful, medium rare perfection. This is so dang tender. And what I'm gonna do is just dunk it into this umami. Let's dig in, man. Umami butter certified Piedmontese cowboy steaks. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so good. Oh my God. That's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. As always, though, listen, we got to get everyone else here fed. But if you guys out there loved today's fish, the hook, the cook, the surf, and the turf, I want you guys first, smash that like and subscribe below. I want you to get out and check out my guy, Plum Dog Outdoors. You guys, we're always doing it up together. And stay tuned. We have so much more to come. Stay hungry.